Mary Tyler Moore was an Emmy Award-winning actor, television star, and producer known for her roles on The Dick Van Dyke Show and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Award-winning actor Mary Tyler Moore became one of television's most beloved wives, playing Laura Petrie on The Dick Van Dyke Show in the 1960s, she won three acting Emmys for her work on the series. The Mary Tyler Moore Show, groundbreaking for Tyler's starring role as a single, 30-something woman in the working world, started in 1970 and won her three more Emmys. Her roles in these classic TV sitcoms have made her one of the most popular actors in television history. The legendary actor died in January 2017 at the age of 80. Mary Tyler Moore was born on December 29, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York, to George Tyler Moore, who worked as a clerk, and Marjorie Hackett Moore. She was the eldest of three children and was raised in the Catholic faith. Her family moved from New York to Los Angeles when she was eight years old, and she began acting and dancing while in high school. She got her start in show business as a dancer in commercials, playing the part of Happy Hotpoint, a dancing elf to promote home appliances in the mid-1950s. Moore also found work as a chorus dancer in television variety shows and, in 1959, landed a role in the TV drama Richard Diamond, Private Detective, playing Sam, a glamorous secretary whose face was never shown but was represented by her shapely legs. She made several guest appearances in television shows including Johnny Staccato, Bachelor Father, The Tab Hunter Show, 77 Sunset Strip, Surfside 6, Hawaiian Eye, and Lock Up. She made her film debut in 1961 in X-15, an aviation drama starring David McLean and Charles Bronson. Moore became a household name in 1961 when she landed the role of Laura Petrie, one of television's most beloved wives on The Dick Van Dyke Show, created by Carl Reiner and starring Dick Van Dyke. As the charming Petrie, Moore showed off her flair for comedy and won Emmys in 1964 and 1966 for her work. After the show ended in 1966, Moore focused on making movie musicals, including Thoroughly Modern Millie, 1967, where she played an aspiring actor opposite Julie Andrews, and Change of Habit, 1970, starring as a nun who falls in love with a doctor, played by Elvis Presley, as she prepares to take her vows. She also played a dramatic role in the television thriller run A Crooked Mile, 1969, starring opposite Louis Jordan. Moore didn't have another hit until her return to television with her own show The Mary Tyler Moore Show in 1970. She not only starred in the series, but also produced it with her second husband Grant Tinker through their company MTM Enterprises. The show became a cultural phenomenon, tapping into changing attitudes about women in the workplace. Moore played television producer Mary Richards, one of the first female television characters to be a successful single woman. The TV comedy followed Mary's personal and professional life at WJM-TV in Minneapolis and also featured Ed Asner, Gavin McLeod, Ted Knight, Betty White, Valerie Harper, and Cloris Leachman. Moore won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Continued Performance by an Actress in 1973, 1974, and 1976 for the show, which aired its final episode in 1977. In addition to the Mary Tyler Moore Show, her company produced a number of other popular television programs, including The Bob Newhart Show, 1972-78, Taxi, 1978-1982, Hill Street Blues, 1981-87, Remington Steel, 1982-87, Cheers, 1982-1993, and spin-offs from The Mary Tyler Moore Show including Rhoda, 1974-78, Phyllis, 1975 to 77 and the Lou Grant show 1977 to 1982 to celebrate Moore's iconic role as Mary Richards a statue of her tossing her hat in the air as seen in the iconic show opening was unveiled in downtown Minneapolis in 2002 Moore made several attempts to return to television including Mary 1978 and New York News 1995 but these shows didn't catch on with television audiences Moore continued to have success in other acting endeavors, though. In 1980, she won a Tony Award for her performance in Whose Life Is It Anyway? on Broadway. That year, Moore also received an Academy Award nomination for her portrayal of an emotionally guarded mother in Ordinary People, 
directed by Robert Redford. In her later career, she appeared in several television movies, first, You Cry, 1978, Heart Sounds, 1984, Finnegan Begin Again, 1985, Lincoln, 1988, playing Mary Todd Lincoln, and Stolen Babies, 1993, for which she earned another Emmy Award. In 1996, she returned to big-screen comedy playing the adoptive mother of Ben Stiller's character in Flirting with Disaster, 1996, directed by David O. Russell. Moore was married three times. She married Richard Meeker in 1955, and they had a son, Richard, who was born the following year. After they split in 1961, she then married television executive Grant Tinker. That marriage lasted from 1962 until their divorce in 1981. Tragedy struck the family when Moore's son, Richard, died from an accidental self-inflicted gunshot wound in 1980. In 1983, she married Robert Levine, a doctor who had treated her mother. They were married until Moore's death. During her life, Moore struggled with alcoholism, a disease her mother and father also battled, and not long after she married Levine, she checked herself into the Betty Ford Clinic for treatment. When she was in her early 30s, Moore was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. She became a well-known spokesperson and international advocate for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. In her later years, Moore battled complications from diabetes including kidney and heart problems and the loss of her vision. In 2011, she faced another health challenge when she had a benign tumor removed from her brain. In 2012, the Screen Actors Guild presented Moore with a Lifetime Achievement Award. An animal lover and vegetarian, Moore was also an activist, working with organizations including the Humane Society and Farm Sanctuary. She and Bernadette Peters co-founded Broadway Barks in 1999. The group organizes an annual event with Broadway stars to promote pet adoptions from shelters. In January 2017, Moore was hospitalized in Greenwich, Connecticut, and reported to be in grave condition. She died on January 25, 2017, at the age of 80 from cardiopulmonary arrest, following a bout with pneumonia. Moore's fans, co-stars, fellow celebrities, and the charitable organizations she worked with remembered the beloved TV icon as a trailblazing star in front of the camera and behind the scenes. She'll last forever, as long as there's television, Carl Reiner told the Associated Press. Year after year, we'll see her face in front of us.